totals in that part of Screven County where it was kind of the bullseye. That's where we saw rain totals over 12 inches in southern parts of Screven County. And you can see that dark red magenta color. That was basically the bullseye of rain totals to where they actually did get above 12 inches in a few spots. So that did include a lot of Screven County, even made it into that eastern portion of Burke County. Barnwell County got close to uh, 10 inches in a few spots. So just a historic rain event and hopefully a once in a lifetime event for most of us. Here's a look at tropical depression. That, uh, Debbie now that center is now moving through central North Carolina through the Piedmont for us here locally. We're just seeing a wraparound rain band that has formed on the backside of Debbie and that has impacted a number of uh, communities again today. We actually have one flood advisory still in effect for portions of Columbia, Richmond, Burke County that stays in effect until 815 PM. I will say the worst of the weather has left the advised area. Now we're looking at uh, the worst of the weather. Unfortunately, right now hitting uh, the spots where they just don't need any more rainfall all the way to Allendale into Hiltonia. This is the Burton Ferries Bridge over the Savannah River. A really good thunderstorm there. And Allendale has actually already seen most likely over an inch of rainfall with these downpours that have been pretty continuous for them so far this afternoon. We are going to continue the rain risk in those spots of the CSRA the rest of this evening up until about 10 o'clock is what we're going with for those rain chances. So just make sure you are staying weather aware, especially if you are in those impacted uh, communities from flooding so far this week. The slight flood risk does continue for those counties along and east of the Savannah River. Once we get to tomorrow and Saturday, though, you can see we finally get rid of that flood threat before by Sunday and Monday. A low risk does return as a stalled front just uh, sets up shop across the region. The thing we're going to notice tomorrow is that summertime's making a return. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Our feel like temperatures are going to be up to around 105 tomorrow afternoon, so definitely feeling more like August and that summer like heat will continue into the weekend. We do have the opportunity for afternoon storms both Saturday and Sunday. I would imagine Imagine the chance for seeing a storm does increase slightly uh, by Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at the rest of the rain for today. So by the time we get to close to 10 o'clock, most of that rain is out of here and we should enjoy a mostly dry uh, night up ahead. Once we get to tomorrow early in the day, it's going to be a muggy start. Temps will be in the mid 70s and then later into the afternoon, everybody should be hitting the 90s and feel like temperatures definitely over 100. Maybe an isolated storm Friday afternoon late into the day. Saturday, same general pattern, maybe just a slightly better chance for a hit or miss storm. But you can see the coverage of rainfall into the weekend much less. They will be very hit or miss and hopefully not impact those communities that have seen all that flooding so far this week. Once we get past the weekend, temperatures do cool off just a tad. We'll see highs back down to 90 Monday, Tuesday. But for the next seven days, there's at least going to be the chance for an afternoon storm. Thanks for that, Riley. The American Red Cross continuing to have boots.